Hey everyone, welcome to the second module of our course. In this module, we're going to be discussing four different agroforestry systems. One system which is designed specifically for the production of grass, which is this one. Next, we're going to talk about a vegetable system, a fruit system, and a coffee system. So you see that each system has a specific main crop which is the main focus of production. That doesn't mean that's going to be only that crop in the system. There are many other species that come with it, but that's the main one. So everything is designed to give advantage to this crop. Um, so let's start talking about this place here, which is for the production of grass. Um, so tell us, Gennaro, what's, what's happening here? What has happened um, until the system got to this point where you've got um, big moringa trees already producing. You've got this these healthy elephant grass, these healthy this healthy Guinea grass, banana trees producing. So so tell us a bit about what, what's going sure. on here. Okay, well here we've focused on the Guinea grass and on the elephant grass for the production of our horses, for the food to, to food production of the horses. We have here two beds of trees at the edges. They're six meters apart from each other the beds of trees and in the middle we've got three beds of grass grass production uh, each one of these beds they've been planted in a different system because like I said we're always developing and we're always testing to see how how we can improve on that uh, in in certain case we've we've uh, companion planted it with onions and coriander and other veg with the grass uh, and in this case here in the center specifically we're going to introduce the guinea grass as soon as i finish harvesting these onions that are in the middle which helps you know for the income of the family and everything else other than to promote good healthy grass so what i can say is that this the guinea grass is more resistant to shading so it really is the legacy you know in in year or two to come in year or two to come the guinea grass will remain as the forest grows and as it shadows and as the trees take take their form. You know, Felipe, this is really important for me, this grass here. I have my horses and if I have to out, go out and buy hay, you know, that's really gonna cost me. You know, in, in, in the horse systems, once you're having to buy grass, we have to buy horse food. But if you have to buy horse grass, and then you know, you know you're into your bankruptcy. You know, you, <laughs> that's one way to become rich with horses. If you're a millionaire, yeah, okay. and then you become rich because you know, you lose that much money having to buy the grass. So basically, uh, this used to be a guinea field, just pure 100% monoculture of guinea. And I suffered with this a couple of years, where before I had organic certificate, uh, you know, I had to inject the NPK and all of that, and that was the only real way where I could get it going. And uh, that's it, it just things became clear to me that if you want grass, plant forest, you know? Yeah. With the amount of heat we have here, the half shade, you know, it gives the condition for the grass to really thrive yeah and it's really amazing that you can um, actually have an initial income from vegetables and then you have your 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 grass legacy and the amazing thing is when you do a, a consortium like this with vegetables you are fertilizing the soil for the vegetables okay onions require a lot of manure and the grass is just gonna suck from that leftover from the onions and it's a very very rich leftover so it's gonna thrive tr tremendously and it's just gonna thrive more and more from there on and it's also amazing having forests with it there have been studies already that um, show that grass grown in partial shade from trees has higher levels of protein than grass grown in open fields so it really it's just a, a, a produce of better quality there, there, there's no question so not only you're saving money you you're feeding your horses better so it's just better food and obviously you've got byproducts okay check out the banana it's just a byproduct it's an extra so we're harvesting grass as a byproduct we get bananas and these can be sold or fed to the horses or eaten or whatever there's a, a bunch of ways to deal with with excess product 
And also the banana plant is a great medicine for most animals. So there's just a win-win-win-win situation when you have forest with your grass system. Once the forest gets too closed, you know, once the canopy starts touching each other, you're just going to prune them down and put organic matter on the soil. And that's just going to continue that environment of a clearing in the forest, which is where grass thrives. In the border of the forest or in the clearings of the forest. So that's what we're trying to, to mimic here. And I love grass so much because it's one of the best plants to structure the soil. It just creates this crumbled structure that's perfect for all the other trees to grow and all the other plants to grow. It's the, the, the plant that makes the better soil. It's the plant that improves soils the most. It's really an amazing. It produces a lot of organic matter and even if you're not going to be really producing grass to, to, to feed horses or, 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 or cattle, the idea, this idea of, of doing a, a consortium, a companion planting with vegetables and grass, it's a great idea. Even if you're going to do vegetables again here yeah. and plant grass again, because now you've got soil covered yeah, Philippe, for, for the, 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 the time in between. Um, your crop season. We have modules coming up talking about uh, the fruit system and the veg system and we're going to be coming back to grass all the time on, on the regular basis. Grass is everywhere it's in all the systems. Yeah I mean we're going to be coming back to it in big style we're going to be talking about how when you use it to feed you know you cut it to feed the veg you also have the the, the stimulation of, of the growth you know the hormones the information it, it sends to the, the veg that's next to it, you know, the, the, how it feeds the trees and that. So we're going to be coming up with that. We've got a lot more, lots more to talk about grass here. Yeah, grass, grass is really a great plant. And this is the idea of a system for its production. So it's not here just to serve, it's the, the end product. And, and this system actually can, can be modeled um, in, to be used in a bunch of different manners. Here, what Gennaro does is he plants the grass and he cuts it and feeds it directly to the horse. Fresh, right? Yeah. Fresh. But this could be used for grazing. You could have cows directly grazing here. Mm -hmm. The only difference you'd have to do in the system is that you'd have to, you, you, you need uh, an electric wire protecting your tree rows. But this is paradise for, for animals, mind you. Um, once you've got shade here, this is complete paradise. Animals don't like to be under the hot sun any more than we do. You can bet on that. They like to be on the shade. Um, for me? You could use this for, for, for producing hay. You could use this for producing silage or whatever way you want to use it. So it's just a resource here to be used in many different ways. One thing that I think it's important to mention is that since you're um, taking away so much of the organic matter here, because this is a lot, this is a lot of resources that you're taking out mm -hmm. of the system to the animals, it's really important to bring back some of the manure, yeah. and I'm sure that you do yep. that. Yep. Differently that. than if you had animals grazing here, because they would already leave the manure, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, here we have different stages. I do uh, intend to eventually have the animals grazing here, but uh, you know, the, the papayas, they're still going to pay. So certain things that are still going to pay, you know, before I'm going to harvest those. And then there's going to be no problem when, when, when the trees are older and, and, you know, they're going to be free to munch on the bananas. You know, I want to have two, two cuts on these bananas. I want to have banana one year, banana the next year, and then the animals can come in and have a feast. So it's, it really is, depends on what stage we're at. Here in City of the Jazz, since we have also the market, you know, the fruit and veg market, and also the horses, we have the tendency here of before the sun is blocked by the shades of the trees, you know, at the very beginning when we plant the seedlings and all the seeds and, and, and all the, well, before these, these trees are, are old, we have the tendency to plant veg and structure it and use that for veg while there's lots of sunlight. Uh, we use the elephant grass to come in consortium with the veg and then the tendency is next time round the veg comes out you know I'm filling the holes with the guinea grass 
and now I'm harvesting guinea grass and eventually the next third stage would be bring the animals in now we have a system here where we have the barns and yes we we collect all the horse manure and every time we cut the grass we come back and we, we give the manure back for sure we do that yeah that's great so that's it guys um, we really hope you enjoyed it um, and we really hope that for some of you this is um, an idea that's that's worth applying in your backyard um, this is very useful for for any sorts of animals okay um chicken rabbits whatever animals it is that you raise um, grass is always an essential part of the of the diet so we really hope you all enjoyed it yeah. and we're going to be talking more about it in the webinar you know more questions i'll be exactly. able to go into detail let's say of each one of these three beds of grass because all three of them are planted in three different ways and we're going to go in more if have a detail with this in our webinar all right so um thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you on the next video catch you later from the agroforestry academy crew sign out